Ladies and gentlemen, David Lemon here. We are starting now. Let me add on Facebook. Recently, there are there are some issues with Facebook. It doesn't start when the other platforms are starting with uh, with the streaming. So we should be live now on Facebook as well. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for being here. We are doing another Q and A for um, for answering questions on your groovy questions uh, as answering your groovy questions um just so that everybody understands what is going on today we are going to put up this banner as you may know lemonade uh, q a's mean that i'm here and answering your questions for around an hour and a half two hours usually depends on the for those of you that are joining in live welcome um you can freely ask your questions in the comment section of this live stream just make sure you put in a queue as you can see in the banner below me please include a queue in front so that i can answer your questions there uh this is for me so that i understand what the what question is for me and what question is for for others that are answering each other's uh comments in this live stream so as you may know, we have a flow to this Q&A and I post a question or I post the scheduled uh, live stream in the Facebook group and also mention that in case there are any, uh, any questions to be asked in advance so that I can go and answer them even if, the, if the, even if the users are not attending the live stream. So we have gotten uh, quite a few of these questions uh, asked questions and i will share my screen on here so you'll be able to see it in a second um there we are here is the q a so lemonade number 16 this year uh already 16 uh two hour or one hour one and a half hour videos with filled filled with answering questions so there are a couple we are going to go through these first and then we are going to jump over to the live stream questions where uh your questions from the people that are watching this live stream can be answered so in case you are here in case you're watching say hi say david i'm here i'm following um just so that i know that i'm not talking to myself as sometimes i am because of technological problems sometimes i'm just sitting here and then it's just me on the live stream but it doesn't matter so let's just see i can see there are some people watching right now i don't see any comments in there so in case you are here feel free to jump in say hi otherwise we are going to start answering these questions so that the people that are going to watch the replay don't have to wait for a long time but uh okay perfect great thank you very much guys so there is paul miranda is saying hello i have a facebook user saying hello david so in case this is you in case you're watching thank you very much for answering but i would appreciate if you could go on to streamyard.com forward slash facebook you can also click on the link over here as you can see um in the in the announcement of this live stream there's a link which is which is which is here you can just click it and this will allow me to see your name and who who is basically commenting so i can answer back uh, directed to you awesome so uh the first question over here was asked uh, from kimberly uh will it be possible to allow members in our membership to upload video or pdfs uh homework type things and some point instead of just comments thanks for doing these each week and helping us grow absolutely kimberly thank you very much for your question you can put in uh systems so that the users upload um something for you but that would need to be a form so if you would like to receive those types of answers um you need to embed a form and forms come in all shapes and sizes so um some of the form platforms that i suggest jot form which is probably the most expensive one uh if you're starting out there is a free version as well with some branding on there but there is a great alternative which is a very small company that is just starting out they have a they are called ali.so i believe uh not ali.so i need to i need to find it again um Give me a moment. I, I was searching for it the other the other day as well. Um, it is something like that. Ali dot something. Um, 
find it. Give me a moment. But there are basically all kinds of different uh, form platforms that allow you to embed things on the on, on pages. And this is what you're looking for. Um, you will be able to do this with a groove, uh, groove quiz and groove forms at a later date. At this moment, we don't have the uploading files functionality from the front end. But there are platforms that allow you to do this. They're just uh, tally.so, not Ali, tally, tally.so. I missed a T. Uh, great. So tally.so is one of the platforms that I suggest. They, they are very simple. Uh, simple to use. They have a very generous free account. You can do all sorts of things without code and you can build out your forms like it is a groove block, for example. So they allow you to have file upload. They have they give you unlimited forms and things like that. Custom logo and cover, custom thank you page. They have all sorts of things um, and and it looks pretty, you can embed it, and this would work with Groove. We don't have an inbuilt functionality for uploading files right now, but you can use something like this in order to have, um, have the users from the Groove member platform um, that are actually attending your membership or consuming the content in your membership, they can actually upload the files and communicate with you. So you can use something like that. Okay, perfect. I have a couple of other people joining in. Manu Prasad is watching on uh, watching StreamYard. Perfect. I can see it now. If this was you previously, uh, thank you very much. I have another Facebook user saying, hello, David. If this is you, please head over to StreamYard.com forward slash uh, Facebook. This will allow me to actually see your name as I just did with, uh, with Manu. So... And Joel, Joel is here. I can see his name and he's saying hello. So thank you very much, Joel, for being here. Um, and then whoever was this user, I would appreciate if you could just approve StreamYard so I can see who you are. Uh, Karina, do you have any updates for lifetime members for Groove Video and Video Course, the bandwidth gigabytes? Uh, those limits will not be changing at this moment. The, all the... All the limits are available on GrooveFunnels.com forward slash packages. In case you have a look at this page, Karina, you can see the limits. And at this moment, there are no plans to change the limits. You can have unlimited videos. You can have 100 gigabytes for life. You can have 100 gigabytes per month of bandwidth and 5 gigabytes upload per video. These limits will not be changing. But what we added on is also use of YouTube videos, for example. And that allows you to upload your video on YouTube and then play it within the group video player, which will allow you all sorts of different things like tagging and and uh, forms embedded on them and things like that. But at this moment, there are no plans to, to change the video limits. In case you would need more, there are monthly plans, which are capacity boosters, which upgrade your video storage by 50 gigabytes and also one terabyte video bandwidth per month. Um, so there's that. Cool. Let's just go on. Uh, Kimberly was asking a question. What do I do if I can get a response from support? Um, Kimberly was getting answers from support and she was actually um, asking some questions about affiliate. And it turns out she signed up for her own uh, through her own link. And that's why it didn't work or pay out a, a, a commission or something like that. I didn't I didn't follow up. I just asked the support team just to explain it a little bit, but she was addressed. Um, in case this is this is you and you are not getting a response from support, please feel free to reach out to them on on chat. If you are uh, if you visit support.proofdigital.com, you will always find the oops wrong button. You will always find the actual um, purple link in the right hand side corner over here and then you can click the ask button and here you will see chat you can chat with somebody um which will allow you to just follow up on your tickets just to double check if everything is is being uh, if, if everything is working or not because uh, sometimes it takes uh, takes a team a couple of days to double check with the devs and just look into the look into the the questions so you can just freely follow up with them through the chat option. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just see. 
over here christine was asking a question about a response from groove card that she got from support team and then she mentioned that i have three crops uh and she's selling things in groove card so she wants to sell three crops uh for 15 six crops for 20 dollars and 10 crops for 25 dollars each crop has 10 seed varieties they can choose from so for example three crops with 10 variants would already be thousand combinations um there is no way around that you can actually have pre-made packages and this is the only solution i can i can see um without making a mess for yourself without making a mess for your customers customer your customers will not need thousand combination you decide you be the decision maker this is why you are the business owner you can make these decisions you will sell i don't know uh a variety of packages you can set up 10 different packages and then to per, for the people to to choose between those options um if they need more you can put in there for custom packages please contact us or something like that but making thousand combinations uh, of your product is not a good idea you will get overwhelmed uh with setting this up with tracking this your customers will get overwhelmed and it's just a mess for 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 managing create five to ten pre-built packages that you offer and then if somebody needs a custom offer then just create uh create a flow for that one as well so that so that uh, the customer support takes care of those custom offers um please uh, where can i find the right person that i signed up under groove if you would like to know who you signed up under Groove, then you will need to have a look. I will just log out from my admin account, and I'll just log in through my through my free account over here. Okay, perfect. So uh, you have your billing settings where you can click in the upper right hand side corner, click billing settings, and over here you can learn a little bit more about your. Um, your access levels over here and also in the transactions sometimes it shows up who you signed up under so customer and affiliate if you didn't sign up under affiliate then it will show like this but uh, this is one of the options where you can where you can find out the other thing is that you can go in i believe in groove cell and groove affiliate reportings so let me just double check reporting um sub affiliates no that's not that's not the place give me just one second hmm. we're changing the layout of of groove cell uh, we added on tools and settings so let's just see um i may not be able to answer this right now i would need to double check this as uh, as we change some things around but i'm pretty confident that you will find it here in the billing settings and then this would be the option transactions if you if you have a look over here in the affiliate you'll see who your affiliate is um it would it needs to show up the username over here let me just double check on my other account just to confirm this theory um prim, 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 in here transactions affiliate yeah perfect so i signed up myself under the actual affiliate which is my uh, my admin account and this is how it shows up so if you go into the upper right hand side corner my billing settings and here it will show up the username and the affiliate email that you signed up under um this is going to show up the the customer details like your own details and here is everything about the transaction so in case you have a free group funnels then it will say group funnels price is free in case you actually paid for group funnels then it will show up another one another product which will say group funnels uh and then it will show up the price that you paid and you can also download the invoice um it will there will be like a download invoice button in this corner um but we had it somewhere in the group of affiliate settings as well but this is not the place i believe um cool let's just go on uh amanda 
asking questions how do we see if we make second tier commissions for groove great question and i believe i just pointed it out very quickly on here so when you go to groove affiliate you can click on the on the uh, reporting yeah and then here you can see sub affiliates so you can see the sub affiliates over here for your for your account i uh, didn't have any but in case you also come to reporting um where is it let me just double check groove funnels i don't when we change things i don't i kind of get um confused affiliate portal okay i'm, I'm in um crew affiliate let's just see the tools it just transfers me back to to groove cell um I don't like this flow. I'll, I'll probably talk with the devs to just change this. But it was in, in reporting and sub affiliates on here. Let's just see the transactions. This is the transactions earning reports and payment history. It's hard to follow because on these accounts, I don't have any information. I don't have any sales or signups. Let me just open my admin account on here. It will be easier to follow. Um, so if we go to Groove Affiliate back, on here in the reporting, we can see the sub affiliates. Here we go. And then you choose the actual Groove Funnels. Um, you choose what product or what promo you want to see your sub affiliates for, and then it will show them up over here. As you can see, I have a couple um, test accounts on here, and uh, this is showing up the actual sub affiliates for your account, and you can choose a different options on here. Um, there's that. I will talk with the devs because I, I don't really like how it handles things. When you click on tools, it tra transfers you over. It doesn't actually show that it was transferred over. Um, is it normal for lifetime members to still see the upgrade for 40% commissions on the affiliate page when we are logged in? Um, yeah, so when you're logging out, um, let me just try to duplicate that on an incognito window. So if you go to app.groovefunnels.com and you log in to your account, um, like for example, let's try to do it here. Sometimes it will show up the actual affiliate page over here immediately. This is because um, we set it up for everybody that logs in for the first time or that logs in for, I don't know, after, after a month or so, um, they will see this option so that they can they can start they can learn about the promo tools and the promotions and they can start promoting us so this is nothing major for you you can just click on the g button and then you go come back to your dashboard uh but in case you are seeing this one then that's not a problem if you are um if you're seeing the upgrade button here in the in the dashboard and you actually upgrade it then reach out to support They'll just double check what's what's wrong with your account, and they will uh, they will have a look for you. Uh, Kimberly is asking a question: Is there a way to copy a membership so that uh, I can take parts of it and add it to another membership and link them to a portal? Um, there's no way to clone a membership. This is something that we are working on in the next sprint. So within the next two weeks, this is going to come out. Um, at this moment, we don't have a clone membership option. However, um, I'm going to do an announcement about this today, but we have added on a new functionality for Groove Blog, where you can, uh, on, the, on a Platinum account, now you can go in and clone the blogs. So once you clone a blog, you click the clone button. It's, it, uh, it, uh, it does this loading thing a little bit, and then it asks you what the blog name will be and what the subdomain will be. You set that up, and then you can clone your blogs. Um, all the posts, all the settings, all the ads, all the tracking links and things like that will be cloned as well. So there's that. So blogs can be cloned now and memberships are coming soon after. Um, Alicia is saying my SunJoin network has their own fulfillment center. Can I link them to GrooveSell? Also, can I use them for my second payment gateway? PayPal doesn't allow CBD products. Um, so there's two questions. She has her own fulfillment center. She would like to connect it with GrooveSell. I don't know what this is. If they have some sort of technology to actually connect 
their fulfillment with with webhooks then you can do it um i don't know if they have something like that uh alicia we need to check if they have access to webhooks if they do have webhooks that means that you can actually take orders in groove cell and when somebody purchases that will send the order details through webhooks you're also working on an integration with zapier so in case uh this sun joined have some sort of zapier connections you'll be able to connect that there are also fulfillment platforms like ShipStation that are paid platforms for uh, e-commerce fulfillment um, you can actually connect this to groove cell using webhooks um, you would need to have a, a, an extra platform for that but it's not that hard to set up and if you if you come to our group i actually created a specific video on that if you type in groove cell ship station you just search for that there will be a video from me the first one that shows up uh where i explained in a video on how to connect groove cell and groove card to ship station so that you can use your own fulfillment centers and, and things like that um there is a duct taping app needed for that. And in this video, I mentioned Publi, but there is a new kit on the block, which is called Integrately, and it offers webhooks for free. Every other platform out there in the world offers um, webhooks, but on the paid account. Integrately is the only one that is like Zapier, which is like connecting things together, but it offers webhooks completely for free. So uh, free to start. Like, I mean, you are probably going to to need more than 200 tasks in case you have 200 orders or so uh or more but in case you don't then you can just completely use this free account and then and then use that for for your own systems um so integrately using this video which i showed you which um is going to work great so in case you guys uh, that are watching this live have the same question and you want to connect groove cell to your own fulfillment center or something else you can use integrately and connect it to other uh other platforms um instead of probably uh, i suggest greatly uh, please check the lemonade i don't know if alicia is here lemonade q a number 16 around the 20 minute mark okay hopefully this will get her correct answers um cool let's just go on to another question um matt tarrant has a question i want a butterfly marketing setup i have the affiliate payment oh i believe i didn't an answer the que second question um also can I use them for my second payment gateway? Um, payment gateways cannot be connected uh, from external sources. Only the payment gateways that are inbuilt to GrooveCell and GrooveCard can be used uh, for payment processing in case you're planning to use the Groove suite of tools. Um, if PayPal doesn't allow CBD products, there may be others that allow CBD products like NMI, um, Authorize.net, Braintree, have a look at those options and then you can you can decide from there. Braintree is actually PayPal. So uh, NMI, Authorize.net. Um, you can also double check with GroovePay. Have a look at, uh, at GroovePay. Um, contact their support team and they will be able to, to assist you on that. Okay, Matt Tarrant, I want to uh, I want a butterfly marketing setup. I have the affiliate payment set up in GrooveSell and the affiliate widget in Groove Member like you did in grooving with guests when i when i test it with me i get the affiliate uh, commissions so it's at least half working when i test it with me i get the affiliate commissions so it's at least half uh when a new client new to me new to groove goes to the membership page can they just grab their personalized affiliate link and and then they are good to go or am i missing a step where they sign up to become an affiliate so this is where the automations can come in. And we were talking about one thing that we're missing in the video, which, which was called grooving with guests. In that video, we didn't have the 
the checkout builder. Now the checkout builder, which is in Groove Cell, it allows you to create a, a link. I will show you here where you can ask for for username and password. And I will just create a new one for a random product. Okay, so random. Okay. You set up a paid pricing or a free pricing. Uh, if you're doing butterfly marketing, the first product will be on a free sign up. Here you are telling them um, to just get a freebie, um, either in a one step checkout or a multi step checkout. I'll just use the one step checkout. And in here, I'm going to I'm going to just choose here where we go into passwords collect username and password you can also ask for username and ask for password once you ask for password this password will be used to create um, a groove account in case you set up an automation for them to become affiliates so once you actually create uh, go through this setup on here okay and you open the link if somebody goes through this checkout process on here, uh, you're asking them for their username and password. This information can be used through automations uh, in order to, to create automatic affiliates for your own products uh, here. Uh, not the Groove Affiliate, sorry. If in Groove Mail, you go to Groove Mail, and you were probably following my video from that Grooving with Guests training automations. And here I explained if you create a new automation, for example, somebody purchase your product, then give them, like you select your product, then add them as an affiliate, which you cannot see from me over here, add them as an affiliate, and then you choose the actual uh, default or commission, a custom commission tier on the actual um, product that you just set up the checkout for. And then you select the product, you select the price point, you select the commission tier and add it on. So in case you did this automation in tandem with this checkout form where you're asking for your passwords, uh, and the password will be used not only for your membership platform, like not only for Groove member, um, that the customers will use this the password they set up on here for to access your membership, but they will also access uh, Groove with this password. So this is something that we are still working on. There is a couple of add-ons still coming. So this is why I didn't do a full-on um, announcement of the checkout builder. I did actually create one. If we visit my Loom account, I, it's a mess. I really need to sort it out. But if we if we look quickly, uh, checkout builder intro. I created a six days ago. I check. I created a full-on introduction of thirteen minutes for for the checkout builder and then I was halted by the by the devs to not announce it yet because they are doing still some tweaks um, for it. But at this moment, I, I'm i pretty confident that this is already working. So you may you may want to check this out on your end, Matt. Um, second, I saw in one video you made but missed it uh, in another that there is a link where they must go to set up their PayPal so they get paid. Can you explain what I need to do so that the client can set himself up to get paid absolutely so in case uh, you follow what I teach and I uh, and I was teaching this in the funnels masterclass from Mike for same in case you are guys paid um, paid members you can just type in uh, funnels masterclass it's masterclass.groovemember.net you all got uh, all platinum members got access to this one and can access it, funnelsmasterclass.groovemember.net forward slash login, check your emails. And in here, you can see there is a training which explains the butterfly marketing mini course. And I and I was in that course and I created a build. In that build, I explained how to properly do a membership um, for this uh, butterfly marketing system. In there, I explain that I'm not quite sure which one was that. Oh, by the way, yeah, we have a login as functionality that we added on yesterday. There is going to be a full announcement on that one as well. Let me just double check if this is the platform. Nope. I'm just going to use this one. Login as.
here we go. So I explain um, also in the Imperfect Action Challenge and also in that training that you create a welcome video where you explain the benefits of being a member and also invite to promote. Then there is a promo tools added in and then there is a button for set up your affiliate payment. Um, just zoom here we go set up your affiliate payment settings the link that i added on here is this one which transfers people over to their affiliate settings which shows them the username shows them the payment uh, information so that they can set up everything in here and the tax information so the link you need to copy over and i will show you step by step how to get there the link you need to copy is you go to apps groove affiliate and then click over here to settings and here, the link in the address bar, you copy that over uh, here. Uh, you copy this over and connect it to a button in Groove Member. So you, you would go into your builder, create a button, and then you just connect the button over to that. Uh, you connect the link over to that button in your, in your Groove Member uh, builder, and there's that. So you are allowing your users to start promoting, but also set up their affiliate payments so they get paid once they get success with promotions. Um, so that's the link you need to connect. Uh, let me just double check. There was another question on here, I believe. Um, yeah, so that was answered. Does a new client new to me, new to Groove, automatically become Groove Apps free member in this process with me as a Groove affiliate? Uh, yes. Or do I need to sign them up separately for Greek free Groove App account if I want them uh, to commission? Okay. So if somebody signs up for your affiliate program, they need to get a Groove account as well so that they can set up their, their payments to get paid as an affiliate. Um, as I showed you earlier, if you go into Groove Affiliate and Groove Affiliate and you go into your settings, this is where the users set up their payment details. So um, whenever you're doing an affiliate promotion, you your affiliates need a secure place to log in and set up their payment info. Um, so that they give you they give you the information where they want to get paid. Uh, how we sorted it out is that everybody who signs up for your affiliate program will get a Groove account and they will be signed up under you. So um, in case they decide to upgrade at a later point, you will be getting the the, the upgrade the commission for the for the upgrade. When you are promoting or when you get um people signed up on your affiliate program and they upgrade they will get you the commission but there is no second tier commission on the on signing up as an affiliate and then promoting groove so there is no second tier commissions on that okay cool let's just go on and see the next question kimberly um, is there any way of doing this in actual automated countdown? I know we normally wouldn't limit, but if we need to, like days, hours do for the amount of people we want to sign up, or would you have this manually updated? Okay, so what Kimberly is asking, if we can have instead of uh, days, hours, minutes, seconds, something like this, only X amount of seats, places, spots left. Um so at this moment, we don't have a limitations in any of our apps for, for any kind of uh, sales or, or quantity. The only quantity limit is for, for bump offers that we have uh, quantity set up in Groove Cell for bump offers. Uh, and that's about it. Um, so this could be a great feature request in case you go on to feedback.groovefunnels.com, which is feedback groovefunnels.com and then you head over to groove pages request and then you request an element for um like a, a countdown timer for for spots or something like that a limited spots element or something like that uh, you can also request it for for other uh, like groove cell to limit the sales up, uh, for example or things like that but at this moment we don't have that available Cool. So that's about it with this, um, with these questions on here. In case you just joined and you had a question uh, on the list that I was just showing on this post, um, I got through all of them so that you can watch the replay and get your answers uh, there. Let me just jump in and see the the comments from this live stream. 
Um, cool. There's a Facebook user saying, I have a MailChimp integrated in GrooveCard, but when I try to transfer the customer information, it gives me an error. So I always end up doing manually with CSV file upload. How can I fix it? Um, I don't know. I don't know what the error that it gives you, but if you reach out to support, they can look into it for you. This would need somebody to get access to your account and get into your account just to test things. Uh, so feel free to reach out to our support team. They would be able to assist you on this. Power up coaching. Hi, David. I would like to know about Groove Member. When you add information and save it, it takes you back to the front screen. Is there a way that it can remain on that area that you are working on? Um, not sure what you mean, but let's test it out together. So let me just log into Groove Member. I believe you're talking about the builder and when you're working on something and you save that it brings you back somewhere. Let's just double check. So I'll just go into this post, for example, in here. I'll start working on it. And I click save. Oh, I see. It, it brings us back to the home page. Um, yeah, I believe there is something already for that one. Let me just double check. Give me a second, guys. I'm just double checking our dev Trello board because I believe there was something on this topic. Yeah, it's here. So this is going to be probably in the next sprint. We have it on the board. We have it on the development board. It is going to be probably in the next sprint. But yeah, it's, I, I can see how uh, how this is uh, annoying. But yeah, there is there is a change on the way where where it will this will get fixed. Okie doke. Uh, is there a way to embed audio in the members area also without it being just a link? Um, yes, you just need to find an audio player. So you can use like Spotify or iTunes have these uh, embeddable players. You can also use um, SoundCloud, for example. Let me just open uh, something here. I'm just going to go into this and then open up SoundCloud. SoundCloud is a is an audio player platform um and let's just find something that doesn't get us scared i mean calling my phone there's probably some rap i don't really like rap so uh instrumental instrumental let's just use something like here um lost in echo perfect so if you want to um not available in creation okay let's just use this donny trumpet if i zoom in you can see that there is a share button on most platforms they will give you a share uh, share option and then they will give you an embed option there are a couple of different ways to embed for it to look like this for it to look like this and for it to look like this in case you're a pro it's just most probably like a a mini player just without any branding i i like this one better so i'm just going to like change the colors maybe make it yellow yeah that's fine and then i can just copy over this code from the from here when you're done you can just add an embed element a code embed element over here you drag it out on the canvas and then you click this cogwheel you paste in your code click save and as you can see there is an audio player so most of the platforms that do kind of audio spotify itunes soundcloud there's loads more um that you can use they provide embeddable code so that you can use this uh, so check it out with them um Cool, let's just go on to the next question. I had two domains pointing to one website. Groove arbitrarily removed one of them. It's been one month and it's not restored. Support has not been much help actually pointing a domain to an unrelated website. Um, I don't know what this issue is actually about. 
would you like to point it to something else? I know that we have changed the system um, because we put in the inbuilt domain management. So there is there cannot be one site on multiple different domains. We, we removed that option. It was available previously. Um, but there is actually nothing that so you pointed the domains over to to the groove pages so you would just need to go back where you have your domain would it be on cloudflare would it be somewhere else um and just redirect them over somewhere else um that's that's just it um pointing to one website groove arbitrarily removed one of them it's been one month and it's not restored it will not be restored you cannot have any more two domain on one site so just point it over somewhere else point it over to a different site uh, or just do a redirect in Cloudflare in case you have your domain already in Cloudflare just have a redirect over to your other domain um, can I use other video hosting links or embedded code beside Vimeo YouTube Vistia um, you can use whatever you prefer um, if there is an embed option on that video player then you can use it yes so you just need to use the code embed element as I just did with audio and then you can embed whatever you would like um hey david lemon great to see you hey robert it's good to see you here um can we sell the ebook for digital marketing and affiliate marketing from idplr and make money that's what i actually teach in the imperfect action challenge manu in case you haven't seen it yet um i actually teach this step by step on how to do find a product take all of the assets that the product provides and create a system for selling that so um just search on youtube imperfect action challenge there is five videos and if you go through that uh, you'll learn how to um how to set up a butterfly marketing system for a plr product that you don't really need to create yourself and you can start selling it immediately with upsells downsells and things like that can we increase the space for Groove video by paying extra? Yes, Amir, we have those capacity boosters that you can uh, you can purchase. These are monthly prices in order to increase the video um, video capacity on there. Uh, amazing, David. Thank you very much. Uh, can we embed your training via YouTube embed in Groove Member to promote Groove Funnels? Absolutely. Obviously, it will be a free giveaway. Yes, yes. I always said you can use the training tutorials. Um, that we provide that group provides you can you can just curate it you can just find the gems find the gold nuggets as they say and then create your own curated list like for example mohammed's uh guide on getting onto group funnels or mohammed's group funnels blueprint or something like that and then muhammad just goes out there and then takes out the gold nuggets from my videos from simon young's videos from the webinars that we had from other videos that you can find curate the list and then offer it as a bonus for signing up there is nothing easier that you can do like everything is already prepared you just need to put it together in a, and package it together basically it's like a gift wrapping for where you don't where you don't have to actually purchase the gift um hi david does groove funnels have now now or in development an automated opt-in landing page builder similar to learn's launchpad we don't have an automated landing page builder we have a landing page builder which is groove pages but there is nothing that is automated we don't plan to do these automated things um we do provide templates so it's an automation already you just need to integrate uh, your autoresponder or in case you want you can also use uh, our own systems uh, groove mail is coming back online very soon and it will be integrated with groove pages without the integration it will not go live uh, so you'll be able to use groove mail and then you can start uh, start sending your uh, your emails there is no need for uh, for anything automated because you probably want to manage this yourself um also groove is doing something that nobody else does um i don't know learns launchpad what they actually provide what kind of functionalities but groove will have and i will just show you a sneak peek because i'm super ex excited about it and i i just like we don't have a lot of users watching these uh q and a's and uh, especially not re-watching these uh q and a's so this allows me to share 
a little bit of sneak peeks with a certain amount of people that actually come to my live stream. So there's a hidden benefit. Uh, I'm going to show you something that we are working on that you may know already about, but I just want to show how super fun it is. So this, what you're seeing right now, is just a mock-up of how Groove Funnels, the actual app Groove Funnels, not a suite of tools, but the app will look like. So what we are doing is building out um, a funnel mapping tool, which will look similar to what, what you see on here, which will have different uh, adding of pages, action triggers, automations, um, pop-ups, and, and, and things like that on here. So you can add this on the canvas. You'll be able to also have tools like just to use uh, different different cursor or different um, nodes and things like that on their um, funnels. So you'll be able to connect one funnel to another funnel to a third funnel so that, that they actually communicate together. You'll be able to, um, to, to go in and set up the whole funnel and things like that. And then at the later stage, you'll go into each and every one of these and you'll be able to just in, in one click open up the builder on that actual page to start building out the, the, the funnel pages. You'll also be able to go in there and set up oops, uh, set up the, the products. You can set up the emails. You can set up everything from within this funnel mapping. Nobody, nobody else provides this type of functionality as we will have because it will also have blogs. It will also have websites, it will also have webinars, it will also have emails, it will also have everything. And if you're a Platinum member, if you upgrade it, you'll have access to this one. In case you're a free member, you'll most probably have the funnel mapping functionality, but you will not have anything else. At a later stage, we'll have also um, tracking of who comes in and then how many people convert and uh, is it a... Uh, like how many people went from the from the main page to the upsell and how many people purchased the upsell you'll also be able to do predictions and things like that and and uh, create different systems if i if i send 10000 people how many would convert if my landing page converts at at 39% and things like that so you'll be able to do these conversation uh, conversions and calculations um which is which is super awesome so in case you're not convinced yet about the features of Groove Funnels. This actually ties it all together. Um, if you want to compare us to Click Funnels, it's like a like a no-brainer. Really, nobody provides this type of functionality with a simple, intuitive platform. That actually, you go in here and then you set up everything, and you'll also be able to share uh, these types of funnels so that you can create a share link, and all of this gets imported at a later stage and things like that. Like it's just like. Psh. But yeah, enough of that. Let's just go on and answer some uh, some questions. Cool. If that didn't convince you to to get on board with a lifetime deal, which is available right now, then I don't know what will. Um, I'm using your three day Groove Cart Accelerator from December nine, trying to create a page with this video loading product from Dropship, having problem replacing product on Pod on print on demand template. Um, and using the order bump at the end, is there a more recent video for this? The challenge seems like Groove Cart may have changed as I can't make it work on Tech Challenge at this point. Uh, Joanne, I don't know what is the actual issue that you are facing, but if you could please um, create a short Loom video and post it in the group or somewhere so that uh, me or the other users that are not tech technically challenged, as you say, um, can assist you. There were changes, but there were no massive changes to GrooveCard that would affect any functionality on there. We added on some things, but we didn't change anything major uh, that would affect the, the functionality of this one. So please record a short loom.com video and then um, and then I can have a look. <clears throat> <coughs> uh, please, how do we set up landing page with thank you page when promoting affiliate? Uh, there are already videos out there on that one, but it's just basically you go into Groove Member, and I can not Groove Member, sorry, Groove Pages. I'll just show you quickly. If you um, if you are logged into Groove, head over to your head over to Groove Pages, which is on the top left. You probably already created a site or tried to create a site. 
when you create a site you can go into your different pages if you want to just start a new site then you can do that one as well i'm just going to show you how to do it from an existing site my suggestion if you're starting out start with a template there are already templates that you can use there is also a template that you can use for uh for affiliate promotions and it is actually called affiliate landing page or affiliate promo here we go affiliate product template you can just select it and you can start using that one and the affiliate product template will give you um, a structure for promoting groove like on here we just did a little bit of, of how it could look like you don't have to go in that deep today you can have these pros and cons and things like that which is very very cool it you can sh uh, showcase the different options that it provides and things like that but you don't have to go this deep you don't have to create a sales page for for promotion you can start with something e simpler than that as well let me just show you, you can not only choose templates here but you can also start just by using a block if you go into the block section, if you have a look at, let's just see the forms. We can do some of these forms, for example. Um, let's just use this one. So you can use this, this one, and this would be a one block page, which allows you to say... Um, Sign up for sign up under my link, yada yada, and you can get a bonus, something like that. Then the customers put in their name, email, and then they click on here. This form needs to be uh, needs to be uh, integrated with your uh, autoresponder. Okay, so if you go into the upper right hand side corner, go into my integrations, and then here you click add and you set up an integration from all of these options. You can set up your integrations, for example, uh, MailChimp, Averber, whatever you're using uh, right now. We'll have um, mail, uh, Groove Mail as well. Um, so you'll not need to to create an integration for that. You'll be able to use Groove Mail, but at this moment it is not yet available here. So once you set up your integration, you can just click outside. So be in between these form fields somewhere where you will be able to select the form container. You'll see over here that you selected a form container. And below that, there is a configure button. This will allow you to choose the integration that you set up, for example, Averber. And then over here, you can select which list to put people on. So if somebody fills out this form on what list should they go into your autoresponder and then here you set up a thank you redirect would it be on a different page in your in your pages section or would it be to a different url so if you're setting up an affiliate page then i would send them to my affiliate link affiliate link here okay just so that just to wrap it up i'm going to show you also how to get your affiliate link so you click over here in, here in the upper right hand side corner and click groove partner program it will open up in a new tab and from here you can just get your affiliate link very simply you can see here there are a couple of different options at this moment you can promote the groove live webinar you can also promote the groove funnels suite of tools on here and then you can click links and then you choose for example the first link over here and do not click on it and do not do anything with it as it is just copy it from here and then paste it in here okay when pasting i will show you here uh, if you paste with your mouse sometimes the update button will not show up so i suggest either pasting with your keyboard control or command v and uh and then it will uh, show the update button or in case you're actually pasting with your mouse paste with your mouse like this and then press left or right or enter button uh, right after it then the update button will show up so once you set this up you can just click the publish button you can publish it on a custom domain there is videos on that one or you can just choose uh, a free groove pages domain you can uh, you can publish it on that one as well and then you are good to go so let's just publish this one quickly and then let's just test it out Okay, so this is this can be as 
as easy as this um, I mentioned something about bonuses you can go into Groove affiliate and set up your bonuses this is a, a story for another time I didn't want to go into depth right now even though I did already but once this publishing is done you'll get this little notification uh, green notification that it is now uh, in progress once you click on it you can see how it looks like so if we fill this out let's just put in Anna banana and let's just put in an email on here and then if you click subscribing subscribe and it gets transferred over to the affiliate link that's basically how to create an affiliate landing page cool hopefully that helped uh, Orlando has a question I have integrated MailChimp to GrooveCart uh, so link link the list import but when i enter send mailchimp say something wrong please trace try again okay uh orlando please reach out to the groove card team the support team so that they can look into it because they would need to actually access your accounts to have a look what is happening and what could be causing that at this moment through through this live stream i wouldn't be able to to pinpoint the problem oh yeah that that is the problem change this um so just please raise a raise a a ticket and the more information you can give them the more quicker they can assist you so in case you uh you can this is my suggestion for every one of you that is watching this right now if you um if you are uh if you have an issue with something try to give the support team or anyone that you ask for help as much information as you can if you say um i don't know my pop-ups are not working this is not enough information so try to give as much when i click here then i do this then it doesn't activate but it gives me an error message this is my site site id and when i tried this it actually worked but when i try this it doesn't work so try to give us as much as much information because we're here to actually help you if you if you mention oh yeah this sucks pop-ups don't work what a what a trash it's a scam that doesn't help us this cannot help us help you so the more information you give us the, the easier it will be for us to help um i'm not saying orlando that this is something that you did it's just that some some things i cannot just assist here on this q a some things really need to be checked by the support team uh, can you schedule post in groove blog i'm not seeing that option when i create a blog post um yes you just choose a, a future date let me just show it to you um so in case we go to groove blog and let's just create a post on here if you create a new post um let's just add a post this is my post and i want to as you can see here in the upper right hand side corner it shows publish if i choose a date which is in the future let's say tomorrow okay and the publish button change to schedule and if you actually click the schedule button and if you if you exit it will show scheduled over here as you can see so it this one is live and this one is scheduled there is another option where you on other post status which is draft if you if you leave so this is draft this is scheduled and this is live so you can schedule post yes um where did i stop i hate when this is okay i found it um so when i when I go out from the window, when I just when I just remove Streamyard from one uh, one um, monitor to the other, um, Streamyard always jumps me down somewhere else uh, so that I I lose track of the comments. But I found it, uh, Susanna here, a Groove member having issues, or is it me? When I add Groove cell element and attach the product to it, the entire box disappears. Um, yes, with a new Groove cell checkout builder we the the groove cell element in groove pages is not working anymore this is uh, this will need to get removed at this moment because previously it was easy to set things up like that but at this moment we added on like ton of new functionality to the to the groove cell checkout uh form and we'll just need to create new elements for that one so um what i suggest you to do is go to groove cell and create the the product link and then um or the actual embed and use that embed code and embed it on your page at this moment using the groove cell element in groove pages is not 
is not an option and i'll actually write it down for myself just to just to make sure that this gets addressed i know that the team had it all already um on their mind but just so that i forget to be bad yes mm. Okay, cool. Let's see the next question. Craig, does group funnels? Okay, I believe I answered this one already. Um, how to create a sub drop down menu in group pages? Um, what you are looking for is is navigation with multiple layers, like a, a drop down navigation menu. So that you can do here. So we have this opt-in form, opt-in block page that we created. Uh, you go into blocks and just choose header snap bars. We'll choose one of these, one of the blue ones. And then you, you will see that once it loads, it will add the, add the pages on here. Once we click, it will add the pages from our pages section. So if we if we are looking at this one, let me just zoom out a little bit. If you're looking at this one, you can see that, for example, um, I want uh, the thank you page below the checkout. So I will click on this, uh, oops, wrong. I will click on the actual uh, six pack. I call this a six pack. Uh, you, call, you click on a six pack and you just drag it down a little bit. And then it creates a nice little drop down. Okay, like this one. And now there are two pages under it. So that's just how easy it is. You can only do it with pages right now. In case you have external links, you cannot uh, slide the external links below. We have uh, we have a vision to change this. There will be when you click on the plus icon, you will be able to create external links, and you will be able to 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 manage this in the navigation um, as you are with the pages um, and this. Pages will be changing completely. There's a there's a plan for that uh, for the future. At this moment, is just using this. And also, what we are trying to do in the future is to have three levels. So at this moment, you can only go two levels. So you can have a main section and you can have a, a drop down sub category section. We want to do um, a sub category on the sub category. So three tiers or three levels down. So the main sub and the sub of the sub um sub sub category so that's that's in the plan and we will we will start working on this once we once we make sure that uh groove pages as the builder works well without the bugs okay cool i mean from the audio that you have recorded on your computer like teaching audio mp3 the same thing if you upload it to a player online that gives you an embed, you can use that. At this moment, there is no MP3 that you upload in MIT and it immediately plays in Groove. You need to upload it somewhere else uh, to an audio player. How to remove an instructor in member? Um, we are working on that functionality. This I don't know how it slipped out, but we didn't have uh, that functionality. We are working on adding the edit button and the delete button for an, for an instructor. I just logged on, I created a page and it gave it a name. How do I know the web address? You need to publish it. You need to click the publish button and then you need to um, select the web address yourself. Just asking when GrooveMail will be fully available. There is no such thing as fully available. When it will be released, you can have a look at the an integration with GroovePages and Chatmatic. GroovePages is not going to be connected with Chatmatic. GrooveMail is going to be connected with Chatmatic. But in case you're wondering about the times and dates, you can go on to GrooveFunnels.com funnels, funnels forward slash infographic. Here we go. And then if you, if you have a look on here, we are going to be re-releasing the GrooveMail in May 1st. Um, soon after, we are going to be adding on list imports. So it is in June 15th. So there's that. Um, and about the Chatmatic integration, it is being worked on. It's going to be integrated with GrooveMail because GrooveMail is the one that needs to handle contacts. If you have, for example, subscribers for, um, for your chatbot, 
everybody that subscribes to your chatbot and and clicks on their email um, that email needs to be recorded somewhere else and that platform will be GrooveMail. so GrooveMail will be handling all the contact related information um, i just answered this question as well uh, what are you using to go live on facebook and youtube at the same time sh and showing the questions on the live video so it is um it is Streamyard. Streamyard is a platform that we that we are using but i'm i'm just using this for comments and because this is the only platform that i know of that people can actually approve and approve access and i can see the people's names and profile images uh that are coming from facebook there are more there are probably more platforms that i am not aware of that uh that that show the details but at this moment Streamyard is the only one that i know of that we use in our company for this yeah so excited for groove mail oh me too uh, my membership site is not working. Can't edit outline of the on the membership. It's been days. I tried to post this issue in the group, but what post was declined. I already reported the issue to support. If there is an issue that you are um, having on your membership, the, always the best thing that you can do is just start a new membership and test it out if this is also a case on a new membership. Could be that there is some code, some embeds, something that you added that is conflicting with the functionalities so the only thing that i could tell you right now to check is just to create a blank membership just for the sole purpose of testing if this actually works on a new membership if it is actually working on a new membership then you know that something is not good with your old uh, membership where this issue is happening um, if you already reached out to support they may be able to assist with with something but if this is a conflicting issue with some code uh, a lot of times people uh, people put in embed codes that just don't that cause these types of issues. So the first thing to try is create a new membership and see if that is fixed in the blank membership, if you can actually work with the outline or whatever the issue is. You say you can't edit outline. I don't know what that exactly means. What is editing of the outline? Means it like dragging the different categories, subcategories, or what uh, does that mean but try it on a blank membership if it's if it is not working on a blank membership either then this must this could be a bug the second thing that you could test is just remove the the embeds because adding on extra code in a builder is something that that knows to conflict so try that as well until you're waiting for support to answer i'm pretty confident that if you start a new membership it will be bugless it will be it will be without any issues so um maybe you want to to work with a new membership then but yeah just please wait for our support um they can look into this for you will the new checkout builder allow custom fields to be optional if you create now they're always required um, great question. I'll need to double check this one. Uh, I just wrote it down so that I asked. The, 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 I, I don't know, but I will double check. Okay, look. I'm using third three day. Okay, I believe I answered this one already. Seems like groove cart may have changed. I answered this, Joanne. Please record a loom video and post it in the group so I, I or anyone else that more that are more technically challenged that are not technically challenged can answer. Um, hi, David. I'm hosting a video content on my group member sites. Where do I find the info on the limits of the video hosting and streaming on premium account and the pricing of? For the access uh, drew i actually just showed that earlier if you go to i believe i actually closed that page so if you go to groovefunnels.com forward slash packages you'll be able to find this information so you'll see an infographic with all the limits uh sort of for the free accounts and for the lifetime accounts and for groove video these are the limits on a on a on a lifetime account on a platinum account I don't know why we call it lifetime and free because free is also lifetime in case you we don't give like 40 day trial or something you sign up and you have you have this account for life like there is really no limit so we may need to change this but yeah groovefunnels.com forward slash packages 
do 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 again i will drop down give me just one second so that i find oh hey dean it's good to have you here uh dean was one of our regulars but i didn't see him for quite some time it's good to have you dean um impact entrepreneurship hi david i hope you're okay thank you very much uh, mommy and the baby too yeah uh coming baby too absolutely thank you very much I get the email notification that people bought the ebook, but it doesn't show up in the membership. Uh, I did the product membership fulfillment in Groove Cell. What could be the problem? Uh, it doesn't show up in the membership. Um, you mean the members don't show up in the membership as as assigned members? I don't know what this could be. Uh, maybe you selected different. I mean, just brainstorming it doesn't have to be maybe you selected a different membership or a, a different uh product funnel I, I i don't really don't know what could be the issue here i would really need to see it so if you could uh record a short loom video and and post it in the group or somewhere so that i can have a look um uh, that would be the best thing that i I, I would really need to see what is the issue. So if you could just show me how you set up the product, how you actually set up the fulfillment, um, how is the membership, and um, and basically just on the video try to uh, try to create an account, try to purchase that, uh, try to purchase your product, um, and and let's see what happens. I I really don't know what could be the issue, but I'm confident that I can find out if I see the video um craig no worries it's okay uh happens uh tyra hoyt awesome i'm using these q and a's to see my learning progress thank you so much for compiling this video um so keep them coming by the way congrats on the welcoming new member of the family soon thank you very much it's coming in in may um so you have um you have groove mail to play with and i have a another sleepless six months to to work with <laughs> um everybody gets something nice when do you expect a new groove funnels interface will show uh to be released looks awesome yeah um groove funnels is being designed right now it's not started in development the good thing is that most of the things that we need are are already done because um the only thing that we we need is just to tie things together the, the actually dragging and dropping dashboard canvas is already um it's already created we are going to be using the the canvas that we have for for creating the groove mail sequences and let me just show you quickly what i mean some some of users uh some of the users may not know what i'm talking about i just want to uh, show um show that when you go into campaigns sequences you can create a sequence and then you get a, a dragging and dropping canvas where you can build your emails email campaigns so when you add a tag and you can drag it and drop it like like this and then you an email and then you do this and then and then you can zoom out and then you can do these things so the, the actual canvas is already built what we need is now connect the apps together and just do a bit of ui work um, so at this moment the designer team is is looking into how to connect each and every app visually so it is easy to understand we are really looking into all the competitors that are doing something like this uh funnelytics marketplan.io and the others and and we actually had a uh, a couple day long brainstorming session on what others are doing that we could do and how to do it so that it is the best in the in the market and we came up with a solution and we we have a plan and now the designers are putting these ideas all together so that when you actually uh, for example you go into the menu and you put in a a page and then you can have some sort of a, an option not a sidebar we hate sidebars but there will be an option to actually set it up like set up a page set up the the functionalities and then um and then even also go into the builder and, and design it immediately from the layout on here which is great so at this moment the question was when do i see that uh coming at this moment um i can just say the the last quarter of the year to be honest it is not a huge task because most of the things are done but the thing is that testing is uh what is going to be taking the most um most time for us to to make sure that each and every 
thing that is getting added because a lot of different things from Groove Pages are coming, a lot of different things from Groove Cell are coming, a lot of different things from Groove Mail are coming, a lot of different things from Groove Webinar are coming. So all of these things will need to get sorted and and um, making sure that um, the onboarding for the users is there. We'll also create uh, pre-made templates, like if you want to create an affiliate bridge page funnel, um, you click on it and it gets imported. It also maybe uh, like different checklists and things like that. So it, it, it pans are huge and all of this is getting designed. Um, but if I would need to say there are there are going to be three phases to it. There will is going to be uh, there will be the first phase will be just a funnel mapping thingy. The second thing uh, second phase is going to be um, the actual funnel mapping connected with the building the, the 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 setup of the products, emails, webinars, pages, and things like that. And then the third phase will be tracking calculations, predictions, and things like that. Um, so. To be, to be frank, I believe last quarter of the year. Um, can we use our domain for our affiliate links yet? If so, how do we change the current ones that use uh, GrooveSell? Uh, you can, but that is for your products only. Um, let me just hide this and then I show you my screen. If you go to GrooveSell, um, you can go into into settings, um, Groove Cell. I said Groove Cell. You can create settings in here, and then in the settings, there is Edit Domains button. Here, you connect your domain. For example, I added on a uh, GrooveAdvisor.com. Let's just use GrooveAdvisor um, as an example, and I'm going to connect. I don't know. Let's just say. Um, Groove.grooveadvisor.com. No, I, I was trying to think of something um, something fancy, but I did, didn't manage. So what I would say is if it would be my product, I would I would create a checkout link with, with something like get. But if I'm promoting Groove, you can just type in groove.grooveadvisor.com. Okay, you can set up group cell tracking and no, I don't want this, this to be host for me. So you click save and then you just copy over this uh, for a CNAME record, get.groovecell.com. So you copy this over and you bring it over here. So click this one and this will all get uh, easier once we have the new additions on there. But you need to add a record which is going to be a CNAME record and the name will be uh, Groove, so that it says Groove dot something that it that it shows up for you here. And then the content will be the actual link, the C name, which uh, was copied over. Once you did this, it shows up on here and make sure you enable this proxy, okay? This is like caching. Um, so once this is done, we can now go into our tools and create on tracking link so we can create a tracking link which will be groove affiliate tracking link and then on here we can say um i don't know i'll just type in groove dot groove advisor okay um, here you can just choose your link or your domain and then once you go external link or affiliate link then you choose the actual funnel you choose the promo funnel that you're promoting um, group funnels live second tier no bs i'll just use group funnels and then let's just go on and on here type tracking affiliate conversion um, if you want to do any kind of conversion i'm just going to do this Groove funnels. Well, I just use any product for this one. Um, any Groove product. Okay. Any product. Where did this jump out? 
okay this seems so it seems like i found a bug something let's actually try to choose price point any price point yeah it actually jumps out i'll need to double check this one um groove, lifetime groove pages that is not let's just choose this lifetime upgrade on one payment yeah it actually jumps out i don't know why it does that if you want to track the goals then you can here you can add on your tracking codes like uh pixels and things like that if you are doing solo ads or things like that you can do cost per click if you want to to have different tracking ids you can add them on here and if you are happy with everything then you have a link groove.grooveadvisor.com tracking link which opens up and it doesn't work because most probably we skipped a step um it's groovecell.test okay this may be the issue groovecell.com okay yeah so if I, I believe there is an issue with our side because it, it shows up here let me just show you here, guys. Uh, groove cell dot test. I believe this is something that our devs would need to look into. Um, so I'm just going to do a screenshot for them right now. Um, groove cell dot test, and then paste it on Skype. And there we go. So this is how you would do these types of thing. Um, I don't know why that actual affiliate link tracking was not working uh, for the tracking of the goals. We'll need to look into this one, but uh, that's how you do it. That's how you connect a, a domain. So you need to do a bit manual work for um, for getting your C name and everything together. But once you, uh, we are we are working with Cloudflare to to uh, to systematize and make a dynamic understanding of the platform so when you add a domain um, it will most probably be um, what most probably will need to be connected using name servers but when you actually add a subdomain it will understand if the root domain is already connected to groove um, or if it is not if it is already connected to groove then the c name records will be set up automatically so this is something that is going to be coming uh, shortly um I joined as a new lifetime Groove member last week. Are there any additional beginners video tutorials available for Groove products in addition to Groove pages? Uh, there is intro to Groove Cart for new members, and there is also intro to Groove Funnels, which introduces the whole Groove Funnel suite of tools. Uh, they were they were a couple of months uh, old right now, and there is a lot of new things with with a platform but at this moment it doesn't really make sense for us to to create new videos as the whole um, user interface is changing for not only the the separate platforms like groove pages and groove blog and things like that but uh but for the dashboard as well we are adding on new new uh, things and changing completely the ui so at this moment we are not going to be doing these overviews because um because if we if we create one in two weeks it will be completely different we're doing two week sprints and if we create an overview video in the next week it would be completely different for example um we did a deployment for groove block today and it already looks different the next sprint for groove blog we're going to move the sidebar where you where you manage your permalinks and the excerpts and the metadata completely on a different place so um it doesn't doesn't make sense to do these types of overview videos you can have a look at the videos that are out there not only from groove but also from other groove users i suggest you to search use the search functionality on youtube to search for like groove member video there are users that create uh like walkthroughs of the software um that you can learn from and they when when new update comes out then they new uh, do a new training on it and a new training on it we don't do this because uh we have a lot of different things that we are working on in the meantime we're also getting a new person on to do the videos uh, but we don't do these walkthrough videos until we are doing these huge um huge ui changes to the to the system ah when i hit publish it didn't show up it didn't show pop-up calendar yeah um i thought this facebook live was supposed to be 1 a.m eastern 1 a.m um the the times 
changed in Europe as well. When I when I posted this on uh, on Facebook in in Europe, there was this this time change from I believe Sunday or Saturday or Sunday. Um, so the there is a one hour difference uh, between. So this is why I suggest people to to just subscribe to our YouTube channel and then follow the the scheduled. Uh, videos on there or on our facebook because when we schedule something it is going to happen at that time when we when we posted on the calendar page last week um america and um and the united states went into the new um time zone calculation but europe was not still in that time zone calculations and now that we came as well then this one hour got shifted um i've not been on any on a training for some time what is the best place to find the latest trainings with the latest changes i have no idea what uh, has been updated in the last month or so is there any way to find trainings chronologically uh yes if you go to our groove blog uh, not Gro groove funnels blog um groovefunnels.com forward slash blog if you do this then you can find the find the updates for the recent apps that we have for example groove cell change log groove member change log and so on we have groove video change log groove pages change log so in case you would like to follow then this is going to be the easiest way for you there is also an option here in the membership uh, not membership in the facebook community to click on the announcements links uh, announcements and important links this is also going to show you the recent uh, updates that i post inside the facebook group i always mark them uh as the as that post category so then people can stay up to date um is there a way to do a clickable drop down within the page not as navigation like a search tool um not not at the moment this is not an option right now how to give free access to member portal the video says says to use groove cell embed element does not work but I'm, I'm no expect either. Um, how to give free access to a member portal? Free access to member. It's a video says use the groove cell embed element. Um, I believe I understand what you're saying. So if you would like to add uh, somebody to your to your membership for free, you can create a sign up form. Would it be in Groove Cell or would it be in Groove Mail? In Groove Cell, you can create a uh, you can create a product which is going to be a free product, so that somebody fills out the the purchase form, the checkout form, and if the product is has a price of zero, then it will not ask them for credit card information. They will they will just be added to the membership if you set up the fulfillment. There are a couple of videos out there. You can search the group uh, for um groove member um adding members to groove member uh you'll find you'll find a couple of videos on how to do that with groove mail automations like somebody fills out a groove mail form and gets added to the membership or you can set up through groove cell groove cell you, you create a free product as i mentioned for zero dollar price you set up the fulfillment to be if somebody adds, uh, if somebody purchases this product, then they get added to the membership on this access level, and then it is just automatically turned on. It is going to work without any issues. My membership site is not working. Can't edit out. Okay, I believe I actually answered this one already. Um, just now you said Groove Cell Element not working for Groove Pages. Can you show us how we can do the alternative way? Um, just copy the embed code that you get from Groove Cell. I can show you. Um, so if you are in Groove Cell, <clears throat> you go to tools and then here you see checkout forms and links. The this is the same place where you go if you just go into your product funnels and you check you click the checkout card. Okay. So if you click the checkout card previously, this is where you got your link and also the embed. And when you click this, you're going to go to, to the same place. So which is tools for uh, checkout links here you create a checkout um a checkout link or a checkout embed you decide if you want to um if you want to do it for paid pricing or a free sign up uh, you give it a name so test let's just call it test um let's just do it for free signups 
here you can choose how many steps to be done um two step over here three step uh or one step i'm just going to use one step for now you can choose which price points to use you can also choose the look and feel if you want to disable this branding bar if you want to create a custom uh layout for example this one to be blue this one to be red which is super ugly now david so i'm going to change it um this actually looks very identical to, to what the blue one let's just change this now to to green there you go so now you can click save and next you can uh, you can turn on this information in case you need it or you can just leave it as it is you can also decide to ask username password if you want or if you don't want then you just skip if you want to skip these details like skip the address info skip the legal terms of service when you are creating free price points when you're when you're giving access to, to something for free then you don't necessarily need these um, if you want you can add some custom css and also tracking scripts in here and then at the end you get your link or you get the embed code you copy this over you bring it over to your page in groove pages and you need to embed i mentioned previously that the elements for for groove cell this one and this one got changed because the whole um, checkout builder, which I just showed you right now, has changed. So at this moment, these options for Groove Cell Check on Groove Cell are not working. But you can use an embed element, so code embed, if you drag it out on here and you actually click and do an, onto this cogwheel and you paste your embed code, then it's going to show up as exactly as we built it. So it should show with a with a green button. There we go. A contact information, email, and that's it. So this is how you do it. Without the groove cell checkout, without the groove cell uh, elements, just use a code embed element, which is at the, almost at the bottom of the page on here. You drag it out and you paste the information that groove cell uh, gives you when you set up this link. So that's basically how you do it. You can have different checkout forms for different purposes for one particular product. Over here in the first drop down, this is for the funnels. So the funnels, the product funnels you have in Groove Cell, these are showing up on here. And then the actual uh, products and the upsells that you set up in that specific product funnel are going to show up here below. So you can have each and every one of your products can have its own link and each and every one of your products can have its own checkout form in case you're doing uh, upsells and things like that. Okay, hopefully that helps. Let's just see the next questions. I cannot add affiliate name in affiliate commission override. There is already some affiliate, but I cannot add them. What's the correct procedure to it? Um, I believe there may be a bug for this one because I also tried to do something like that um, and it didn't work. I'm just going to double check with the devs. Affiliate commission. Cool. So I'm going to double check this with with the devs. I'm not quite sure um, if this what was the status of this one. Could you tell me where you guys get icons for some of your pre-built websites? Uh, the designers take icons from from different sources. Icon eight and uh, flat icon being the top ones. These are in in our resources uh, options, and this is where we find most of our uh, most of our icons. I switch from developing a, wex, a website in Wix to Groove because Groove includes will include all the components that I need. How is it? Will it be develop a menu and numerous items and pictures? Um, at this moment, I believe Wix has a better builder for for menus. And to be honest, Wix is a Wix is a more mature platform for building out websites. Um, so it is it is going to be easier to work in Wix right now. At this moment, Groove is looking to. Um, to come to revamp how the builder looks and functions so at this moment that is the process we are we are undergoing right now we are um, currently doing major changes of how things will be functioning um, at this moment there is a lot of 
different containers needed and then and the nesting and like uh, element needs to go to a container where the container is in a bigger container and, the, and that container is in a block and things like that it doesn't necessarily need to be that way and we are going to revamp it at this moment um it's good that you you started using groove because you can learn how it is right now and then within a couple of weeks it's going to be much much easier um but if you learn right now it's it's never it's, it's just going to be easier and easier at this moment as i said wix has a better system for developing menus um how is it will be to develop a menu and numerous items and pictures i don't really understand what you're trying to do in case you're doing a mega menu or something like that that functionality is not available with groove pages right now but um but definitely something that we can look into if you if you upvote the feature requests. Uh, that is something that we can uh, add on in the future. So there is tracking link in Groove Pages. Thank you. We don't have tracking link in Groove Pages. We have tracking link in Groove Selling Groove Affiliate. This is where I showed you earlier. You can create your own custom affiliate uh track uh, custom uh, tracking links for affiliates or for your own uh for your own uh promos of different affiliate programs um that is already built into groove so you can use it yes um david i if i build a groove pages site with groove cart embed button can i copy and paste the legal page from groove cart to groove pages and edit them a bit to match with the site um yes absolutely yeah Will Groove Funnel Mapping use UTM tracking like Market Plan? I don't know about these technicalities. Uh, I wouldn't be able to answer this question, unfortunately. Um, if you have a business like Avon and by Jamberry that provide you with websites, can these be linked to Groove account in some way? Um, I don't know in what form those websites come in. Most probably HTML. Sometimes platforms give you also different themes and templates for WordPress or whatever. Um, I, I would know I would need to know in what form they come if if they are in HTML and if the websites are already pre-made so you don't need to actually um, rework them like edit the information edit the text on the actual um, um, templates or the, the 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 designs they give you then you can just uh, use a code embed element and just and just embed the, the site as is. If you need to change things, if you need to change the text, if you need to change the buttons and and, uh, and links and things like that, then you will need to you will need to recreate it. Unfortunately, in the builder, in case you plan to use Groove at this moment, uh, Groove cannot take uh, an outside code and have it immediately edit that code that way. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Hi, David. Can you kindly explain how to set up a block setting? Uh, block setting it with your own domain the steps needed for complete the process and another question is it possible to put a widget in a post in groove block to collect emails um yes you can and yes i can show you so let's just start with the second one um so here we are in a in groove blog if you if you just create a post and you want to embed something in it you click on this plus icon and here you will see this embed HTML uh, link in Groove Mail. You can take a form, for example, form, and then get code. And you can choose the raw HTML code and copy this over, bring it to your blog, paste this in, and then you will have the form added in. So as you can see, it is a functional form, and it 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 works. So um, the second question is yes. If you would like to connect a blog to, to a domain, there's two ways to do it. You go into your Groove blog, settings, and then choose domains. Here, um, I connected it to a custom domain in a video where you can find it in the Facebook community. If you type in Groove blog custom domain, there will be a post by me where I explain this custom domain publishing, as you can see. Uh, there is a video that you can watch which shows you exactly how to do it with a custom domain publishing. And I just did that exact scenario for grooveclose.com on the video. In case you would like to learn how to do a subdomain, for example, let's just use grooveclose, for example. If I want to now publish my blog on 
Um, lemon, dot groove close dot com. Okay, so this one, I just want to use lemon in front like a subdomain. Then I will just type this in. I will click groove blog, and I will say no thanks because then I need a C name record. Okay, so once this is done, I will copy over this host and groovepages.com. I will come into Groove Close, click Edit, and just add a C name record on here. Here, Lemon. The name is going to be what you want as a subdomain. So this dot your root domain dot com. So in my case, lemon.groovclose.com. And the content is going to be the host and the groove pages dot com. Okay. Once you, once you have it, the C name will show up in here. Make sure you enable the proxy. We were caching, and then you are done. Once you click the update, it should come live within a couple of seconds, and then it will also give you an option to choose it from the drop-down menu. So in case you actually selected the Groove blog, uh, that you are connecting a domain to Groove blog, then it will show up in the drop-down over here. So lemon.grooveclose.com. We can click Save. Now it should be saved there we go domain settings have been saved as you can see just behind me and uh if we go into publish we need to publish this blog once click the publish button there we go and then if we have over to lemon dot uh groove close dot com there we have our blog right now so as you can see this is it it's not beautiful because I was testing it out and I was I was messing with it and things like that. I didn't put in featured images and I put it in a, a list to show up as a list and things like that. So it is not pretty, but it works. There we go. Um, but yeah, for more information, have a look at that announcement video. I explained how to connect a root domain, not a subdomain. Gabrielle, um, I have signed up for the Fast Start Marketing Lab and was supposed to get to Groove Magazine. I never received any of the issues. People in Europe got the magazine. I did not. I have email support in March 1st, and they said it will be this month. I sent support ticket again yesterday. No answer. Can you please? I'm also in, in Europe, and I also should get the magazines as well as you, Gabrielle. Um, I also didn't get them. There is a lot of people that didn't get them. Some people in Belgium got them. Some people in Netherlands get them. But it just depends on the country and the, and the shipping options. Basically, the shipping options should be the same for everybody. But different countries have different postal services and the, and the systems that deliver the actual um, post and the, and the packages is just more... Um, it's faster in some countries and, and slower in some countries. I remember when I was living in Germany, I got uh, I got a shipping a shipment from America, and in the same time there was a shipment from uh, from America to Croatia. So I got the shipment within three days to Germany, but in to Croatia there was like one month delay. So there are different systems and i don't know why but if it was sent it will arrive it just depends on, on on different things so don't worry i'm still also waiting for it and there's a lot of our employees that should have gotten it as well but didn't yet so if you sent a support ticket they will probably be able to check it for you uh you sent a ticket yesterday no answer just give it a bit of time um there we received tons of tickets for for all, all kinds of requests so give it time gabriel you're not alone i also didn't get it so there's that uh can we now create our own video and replace the existing group video to explain how to how to get links and so forth for affiliates can we now create our own video and replace the existing group video ah you mean the promo tools yes you can um there was um an announcement about that but if you go to to groove cell and if you create uh no groove cell tools we moved it to tools and if you come in here affiliate portals and tools then you can create your affiliate portals on here um, you can click this cogwheel and then here you can choose use custom resources tutorial and you put in your video link on here if you also want uh, to show related funnels so that we have the we have 
so that you have a drop down menu to choose different options on here like here there would be a drop down menu to choose uh, more funnels so that the customers can get more of your affiliate links not only one for your main product but also for your other products as well you can get that using the drop down menu i'll close some of these because i don't use them so that's that's all done in in this cogwheel uh can we have sign up for products and affiliates use our domain in the email instead of from group uh custom emails uh -huh. so um, these custom notifications uh, you cannot you cannot do that if they actually sign up uh, for Groove, they will receive for Groove. But if they sign up for your product and for your affiliate program, um, it will be um, in future that it will be your own emails going out there with your own branding. At this moment, it is not yet an option. Um, okay, next question from Paul. Uh, um, am I get buttons at the top of the page to change their orientation? Uh, what? the top of the page to change their orientation what do you mean by change their? i don't understand this question paul in case you can actually assist thank you that would be great uh what is rethink providing as group funnels training that your training does not cover for example are they going to uh, going more basic new user training in group products i don't know i don't know um different affiliates provide different training the the big affiliates they provide custom training step by step on, on certain things they are experts in i don't know what kind of uh, training uh, rethink does i was on the webinar from them um and they actually mentioned some some extra webinars and things like that for their for their members but i don't know exactly what kind of extra training they provide um you can do that as well so you can create your own trainings and you can do uh, affiliate marketing where you get people to sign off under your link but then they will get that extra training so it depends i don't know exactly but you probably should be able to ask them about that is there an eta on the updated builder rollout um i'm not sure if what platform you're talking about if you're talking about the uh, group pages group pages is already in progress the first thing is to to fix some of the bugs and the that are causing issues um because when we change the ui um those some of those feature will will be put in different menus we're going to have everything simplify when you click on the text element the text uh style the, the most used text styling options will show up we did um we did tests for and, and tracked user uh what kind of features the users were were clicking on mostly and we now have a very good understanding of what functionalities what uh, what settings the users are changing often and those will be uh those will be uh, those will be added so for example if you click on a text uh you probably want to change the size of the text the color of the text the the the, sp the spacing and the positioning where to be shown and things like that you may also want to do some background and things like that will be immediately there on the uh on the canvas so the the sidebar as we have it the style editor right now it is going to to still be available but it's not going to be immediately out there for everybody so these ui changes will be coming at this moment we are still fixing some of these issues that we have and adding on some extra functionality as in uh saving of the elements we want to allow users and our designers to save elements so that um the new elements are designed styled set up properly with the newest code that is available so that it doesn't give any more issues like one of these things from the old builder and you were probably thinking like why is this so slow uh, that was my question as well why is this so slow when you when you open the builder you see these these brackets and then you have everything loaded in but when you drag on something like like a text element just on the canvas let's just leave it here uh, it starts loading this is because we changed infrastructure recently and uh, 
and the elements need to be resaved to the newest code. And this is why this loading and and there's there's issues like this within the infrastructure that need to be addressed first, so that we can we can actually go on and then uh, have a more stable platform. Uh, this is just one of the many things that we we plan to do before uh, before tackling the other issues. But uh, at this moment, I wouldn't be able to give you uh, an an ETA on it. But I believe within the next, I don't know, around summer, end of summer, we should have some progress already on this. Okay. Is there a mega menu functionality available for groove pages and groove cart main navigation section? We don't have mega menu functionalities. How do you get uh, the comments to show? on the blog pages front end view as I have been having trouble with this. There is a training on that one as well. If you look into uh, YouTube, there are people that created training on that on YouTube. And also I did a couple of different trainings for for that uh, exact topic in Facebook. So you can, uh, you can have a look, just type in Groove blog comments. Groove script is in the works. It would be very helpful to have an automated tool to help us with copywriting. A group scripts? No, we are going to get Groove Copy Pro, which is um, which is one of the first platforms that was created in the world for for assisting with copywriting. And there was a uh, there was a, a webinar recently with Mike and the owners of the Copy Pro. Um, this is basically the platform as as uh, as ClickFunnels has this this funnel scripts. Um, it's just called Copy Pro. Um, we are going to have a version for Groove that is going to be a limited, a more limited version than what was op offered in the Copy Copy Pro webinar. So it's going to be a smaller, more niche down version of the of the full platform. So if you watch the Copy Pro webinar a replay, it is going to explain you a lot of things. Also, Mike mentioned it in the in the state of the Groovion last time when he was he was uh, on camera that uh, we will have we will have that option in there. Thanks for the info, David. Can I use both Groove Pages and Groove Blog with the same subdomain using a custom domain? Uh, yes. At first, it, uh, look, it looked like they require different subdomains www.customdomain and blog.customdomain.com. Um, you can use it. Uh, you can use Groove Pages on your custom domain. Wait, wait. Can I use both Groove Pages and Groove Blog within with the same subdomain using a custom domain? You cannot use one subdomain, one custom subdomain, and use them on two platforms. That's not possible. You can use the www.customdomain.com on Groove Pages, but you can use. Uh, you need to connect then the blog to your Groove blog. They cannot be the same on another on one platform. If if that's what you're asking, I believe you are not asking that one. Uh, if you are talking about connecting, for example, your website or your funnel to a root domain, um, like domain.com, and have like your your blog and and other things like a checkout form on the custom subdomain that is possible david sorry for joining late could you perhaps point me to a training video uh, out there showing how we disconnect from a domain from cloudflare and instead to groove host our domain uh sure i will show you right now i don't think there is a training on that uh, not from me uh anyways so i'll just log into cloudflare So login, that's the first step. Once you did that, then you select the domain that you have connected already. Um, okay, so MediaPio, for example, let's just choose MediaPio. Okay, MediaPio, I already have connected in here and I have some, um, um, some settings already in the DNS records, as you can see. What you would need to do right now is um, go back to overview and then scroll down and remove this site from Cloudflare. Okay, remove this site from Cloudflare over here. 
and then click confirm once you did that it is going to let's just see what it shows on the i didn't even read i just clicked um, remove site from client by clicking confirm you will be canceling any subscription associated to the zone if you re-add the zone you will be required to re-enable them as well okay that's fine um so now we we deleted mediapio.com if you go into your where is it let's just use this my account domains if we go and add mediapio.com and I want to connect to groove pages, for example, I can say, would you like to host your site? Uh, would you like us to host your site for you? Yes, please. If you click yes, please, it's going to give you name servers. The name servers are required to actually um, point your domain to these name servers. So we'll need to open our domain name registrar. I'm going to do it off screen. Uh, cheap. And then I'm going to point the these name servers over to mediapio.com. Come on. Where are you? Here we go. Manage. Bam. Okay, so I will replace the Cloudflare name servers with the ones that Groove gives me. So the first one needs to go to the first place. The second one needs to go to the second place. On here, once you're done, you click this check mark, and then it will take a little bit of time for this to to come into effect. What you can do right now is just to click um, update, and then check back from time to time in order to for it to get um get effect so let me just go back and and uh, to the domains it is going to be pending over here it's going to be pending for for some times because what it's doing now is it's actually recognizing your domain and domain name register pulling in the dns records and things like that so it will take some time after some time it will show status active and then once it does it will uh it will just allow you to go in and further modify the CNAME records at this moment is still is still pending so just give it some time once you did that it is going to allow you to manage the domain from here instead of Cloudflare that's basically it um let's just see the other comments any update when there will be a library of funnels by industry or usage for us to use a library of funnels by industry or usage for us to use uh, not quite sure i understand this question we are going to have different funnels and it is in the work right now uh, webinar funnels product launch funnels da, 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 different funnels for purposes and not for industries uh, we are um, we're going to stop developing um, funnels for different industries like a dog walking funnel like this is just super niche down and, and it doesn't make sense. So we're going to do um, an opt-in funnel, a webinar funnel, a different uh, functionality funnel and not different niche funnels. Um, if you're asking about that, then there's the answer. Is the Groove member a complete functional to create a membership site and sell my courses? Um, yes. Yes, it is not complete functional. Like complete functionality is is long way ahead. Um, like extra functionality is still still being added all the time. Uh, like tomorrow, there is going to be a new deployment, which is which is going to be a huge increase in speed. You'll see. Um, it's going to it's going to be it's going to be great. Um, we're doing a common component for the. When you load in a membership, when you load in a membership, at this moment the whole membership loads. When you go into from a category to a different category, it completely reloads the whole page. What we are doing with a common component that should be deployed tomorrow um, is that the 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 actual sidebar and the menu will stay, and then uh, the content will change only because that's the thing that changes most of the times on the memberships and this is going to be increasing the speed drastically for the for the memberships and things like that so 
slowly, slowly building up the functionality. Can you already use it for courses? Like we do, Groove uses it for, for selling courses and things like that. Uh, will there be bugs? Absolutely, there will be bugs. When we, when we release something new, uh, there may be side effects to the new functionalities, but our dev team is on it very quickly and fixing these things. So um, can you use it already? Again, yes. And, and a lot of users are using it and already selling their memberships. I was building membership and in many cases, pacing and margin was not available. Will membership be more, more comf uh, much more customizable soon? Yes. How I have been trying to make the navigation menu at the top fix so when the user scrolls it stays as you scroll but embedded elements stay on top of it how can i fix that i don't understand the embed elements stay on top of it um, i will show you how to do um, a navigation with uh, that it sticks to the top of the page but i don't understand what you mean by by embedded elements stay on top of it so Anyways, let me just show you how to do this with the page that we created in this video. So at this moment, when you scroll down, the actual navigation is 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 staying and it doesn't scroll with a page. So let me just duplicate this so that there is a little bit longer scroll so that we can scroll down a little bit more. Okay, this cloning was not as it should have been. But um, when we... When we select the navigation, the block over here at the at the bottom, you can see that there's a block. I need to remove the banner. You can see at the bottom that there is a block on here. And then once you select this, you can click the pencil icon and there will be a positioning option. So here in the in the sidebar, you can see positioning. When you click on something else, there is no positioning. Only when you click on the block, there is a positioning option. If you click positioning and then you say fixed top, then it will actually be fixed to the top. There's that. Um, cool. I lost the comments again. Where was I? Give me just a second. I lost the comments. Okay. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Do you know how to make buttons stack on top of each other instead of next to each other? <clears throat> yes. Um, so when you most of the time when you clone a button it, they will go on top of each other unless specifically asked not to so i don't know what kind of scenario you have but let's just use a different block for maybe resources or actually call to action they already have cta Let's just find something with more buttons. These have one. Um, okay, maybe we can use this. Some of these things are too big. I don't know why. I have have all kinds of different crazy stuff on this page so i believe this is because um, i was playing with different code and things like that i'm just going to open up a new a new site and play with that this happens when you're testing it a lot let's just use something else Pricing, pricing has more buttons. Okay, let's just use this then. Cool, so the question is, one more time, do you know how to make the button stack on uh, up on top of each other instead of next to each other? So the normal scenario when you clone a button, they will be stacked on top of each other. So there's not more 
to it. Um, the only issue is that the container where the, the buttons are placed, it needs to be set up so that the actual, let's just see, the button is in this container. The container is set up so that things go on top of each other. Um, if there is a container that makes things um, next to each other, let's see if this gets added. If we clone this, oops, clone this, it, yeah, this one also goes on top of each other. But if the container is set up so that it, in the layout, it goes, oops, I just broke it. Pam, 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 pam. Inline block, you see there are different layout options where, where once the container is set up differently, then they will be they will be displayed differently. So I'm now breaking it even further because um, vertical inline block. It cannot be inline and vertical. Um, inline in the middle. Nope. Yeah, but basically you see that when we when we set this up, for, well, this one is good. Block, text in the middle. There are some properties of the containers. This is a stylable element. The container is this one. If we if we set up the different properties on here, then it is actually going to to change it. As you see, there are different different settings make things act differently so play with these uh, display options block layout flex to be honest this is css properties and i don't fully understand it i don't know css code but this is why we're doing this um restructuring re uh, because this is complex and people like me that are techie are sometimes having issues with understanding it so um this will this kind of functionality will be fixed and it will stay, but it will not be put in front of everybody. It will stay in some sort of sidebars, which can be activated later on with some sort of different options. But what we're trying to do is create a builder that when you go in there, you click on things, it just works. And that's what we are trying to achieve. So at this moment, it's just it works, but it's just not as it should be. Like yeah, so also these dragging things we are going to be fixing and making it better. But these layout options, it, it's it's not necessary for, for everybody to know how to work with it. And I was just covering it, so you probably didn't see anything from my head. I apologize for that. But yeah, I was just clicking different options in the layout functionality. So that was it. Um, so you're saying that we can now use our custom domain for blog. We don't have to use a subdomain with group blog anymore. Yes. Do we have any restrictions with regards to video size? Video size in terms of megabytes or gigabytes, it is a five gigabyte file size limit. In 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 regards to video size, as in the pixel like width and height, um, full HD is the is the option that Groove Video Pro. Uh, has right now okay um so is groove blog and groove pages consider separate platforms can i do www for both group pages and group blog you cannot uh do www is just a subdomain you cannot do www.blog.group so there is no two level of subdomains that's not something that we provide when you add your custom domain, why is that we can't add them both Groove Pages and Groove Cell at the same time? It only lets you add it because you cannot have two properties or two things published on one domain. Like if you if you publish something on domain.com, like one website, for example, you cannot also publish your checkout page on that one. Uh, publishing something on a domain needs to be done on a separate separate domain so you cannot publish multiple things on one domain where you do one that called a few hours ago i have no clue who this one is for um 
Thank you. Appreciate the demo on how to disconnect domain from uh, Cloudflare so that Groove can host it instead. Let's just double check on that one if, if we actually uh, got somewhere with that. So if we go into my account domains, media pio as you can see now it is active and if we click edit the the details that we had the c name records and the, and all the dns settings were imported from cloudflare so as you can see that is how you remove it um let's just check what is actually opening up right now when we when we when we go to media pio ah yeah this is as you can see this is a template that i I was doing during the Groovathon. I was creating a training on this one. I also tested something that you can see. It's here. Um, I was testing click to connect app on mediapio.com, which looks like this. It's a little um, uh, like a contact widget that I was testing. But yeah, there we go. So there's that. Um, let's just go on, see the next questions. We are going to be wrapping it, wrapping this session up. It was past two hours right now let's just answer the last couple of questions i came online did you mention any updates about templates for GrooveCart? no i did not uh mention any templates updates there are no updates for templates in GrooveCart. i really appreciate these videos uh can you please create a playlist with just a q a videos pretty please i could yeah uh, part of my ignorance is hosting included in the pro platinum plan i have many domains parked in different isps and have been playing a lot paying a lot for hosting and wonder if i can transfer all of them to groove yes you have unlimited number of domains uh option and unlimited number of websites options so you can have a site with unlimited pages unlimited funnels unlimited everything for it for each of your domains um there's a step where you had to target after the at sign but my case it didn't work the part you took did not appear for me I don't know what this is about, where, how, what was I doing? Um, I don't fully know what you're talking about. Embedded HTML. To clarify, is embedded code? The Z index does not work and the element shows up above it. Um, Z index is something that we have on the to-do list. Z index it can be checked. I added it on my list to double check with the devs. Um, Bobu is asking, how do I get started? Have a look at the introduction video on uh, introduction to Groove Funnels, introduction to Groove Pages, introduction to Groove Cart, just something so that you start somewhere. Or you can just dive in head first and then test out some things, like click around in the, in the platform. It's pretty easy to use in case you have more specific questions. To, uh, there are places to go to ask questions for. As a paid GrooveFunnels member, there are affiliate relationships with Groove that we can promote and make commissions from through our own Groove opt-in landing pages. Uh, yes, so whenever you are a Groove member, either on a free or a paid account, you can get your link and start promoting Groove in order to earn affiliate commissions. Um, when I started with Groove, I paid $500 for it, for 99 and... Uh, and I started promoting and I made this investment super, super quickly uh, when I when I started uh, started promoting. And I still to this day get um, get affiliate commissions because I got my link shared. I believe I got 300 something signups. And then even today I received an affiliate commission email. Your affiliate commission is on the way, which is great. So start even if you if you don't have a big list. I had no one to promote to. I just went in and talked with different uh, communities, different groups of people that that would have been interested in, in a tool like that. Some of you may even be uh, in Groove because of me. So uh, just go into communities that you think would be benefiting from from a tool like Groove and promote your uh, prom or, or offer your link for them. Just just mention that this is something that they can register for and use it for a lifetime. They don't have to pay anything. They can have three websites, three domains, blogs, funnels, all sorts of things. So it's a great great tool. And if they upgrade, you get 
get commissions. Can you do this to header menus? I don't know what this means for. Um, I really am struggling with un, uh, unfinished questions like embed HTML. I don't know what that means. I don't know what can you do this header. Like, please ask me on these Q&A uh, sessions. Please ask me complete questions because I answer a lot of different things and I don't know where I was talking about it. Question, my custom domain for in Grooveblog with www and without it, uh, it's not the same. It is showing a default blue Groove pages. I, I've seen a record for www and without www, both pointing to host and the group pages, um, but it is still not working. What to do? Um, I would need to see uh, I would need to see your DNS settings and also how you set it up. You, when you set up a custom domain for Grooveblog, um, you also need to set up the custom domain, uh, the, the subdomain www for Grooveblog. If you didn't do that specifically for Grooveblog, it may not work. Uh, does GrooveFunnels integrate with SendLanes so I can easily transfer my email database to SendLanes from my GrooveFunnels platform? Uh, no, you don't need some. You need you don't need integration for that. We will have importing lists in SendLane. You'll be able to export your lists and start using it in GrooveMail um, once the importing list functionality is uh, is added. At this moment, we are still waiting for it. It is uh, scheduled on the timeline for June. Um, so once that is added on, you'll be able to export your list from SendLane and add it into GrooveMail. There is no need for integration for that. In Cloudflare for DNS setting, please. Oh, God. There is a step where you had to target after the at sign, but my but in my case, it did not work. In Cloudflare, um, I don't understand the question. Please, if you could like record a video or something like that, try to follow what I just did. Um, it shouldn't be too, too different for you. Like Cloudflare is the same for everybody. Groove is the same for everybody. Try to recreate from the replay what I just did. Um, can you do this to the buns and then hit her? <laughs> can you do this to the buttons in the head? <laughs> can you do this? To the buns and then you hit her minions. Absolutely, I can do that. <laughs> uh, you see, guys, why I'm having issues understanding your questions. Like, <laughs> um, can you do this to the? What is the this? I don't know what the this is. Thanks so much for your uh, for your kind help. Uh, you're very patient and generous with your time and energy. Always appreciate. Thank you very much. I cannot see who you are, uh, but yeah, thank you very much for being here. I believe I'm going to wrap this up today. Um, it's two hours, 17 minutes a Q and A session. It's been a great one. Thank you very much for that. Um, uh, guys, uh, your questions are appreciated. Some of the questions I cannot understand because they are very short and it's like, if, if you ask me full questions, I'm, I'm able to give you full answers. The more details you give me in a question or in a video or something, the more I can assist you. But at this moment, some of them were not that full. So um, thank you very much for being here. There are changes coming this week, and you will be seeing them more and more um, in the announcements also and in the in the in the in the system there's going to be updates for groove card groove member groove blog already deployed some of the changes and and a lot more to come so hopefully you're going to see them all thank you very much one more time for your time and thank you very much one more time thank you very much for your time for being here and let's uh, let's see each other on friday again we are going to do a training uh, a q a again on friday so thank you very much for being here see you guys bye bye